the southeast of the United States, we have a little tradition on New Year's Day, and that is that we cook up some collard greens and black-eyed peas to help bring in good luck for the coming year. So I am picking some beautiful collard greens out of the garden, and this is a wonderful vegetable to grow in the winter. It is very cold hardy. So I'll show you how I like to cook them. We're going to clean the sink real well. I'm going to use a little bit of bleach in here and make sure my sink is nice and clean. So with some cool water, we'll go ahead and wash up the collard greens. I want to make sure to remove anything that might be on there. And we'll go ahead and submerge them here. This will be the first wash. And I'll go ahead and strip out the rib. You just can pull the stem there and off will come your green okay and now we'll go ahead and fill up our sink with some more water some more fresh clean water and I want to go ahead and give these another wash I'm going to do this two more times and then we can start to cook the collard greens um, I love to use a ham stock for collard greens and beans and I showed you how to make that last year it's wonderful if you have like a Christmas ham bone left over um, so what I'll do is I keep this in the freezer and I'll leave a link to that video if you missed it but I want to remove the fat cap which is on top of the ham stock and I'm going to go ahead and add this now you can add a ham hock to this if you want to if you don't have a ham stock I'll go ahead and add two more quarts of fresh water and I want to just go ahead and rough chop these beautiful tender collard greens if you're if you're not growing those in your garden this year give them a try next year like I said they're real easy to grow and they're so wonderful and nice and tender when you grow them yourself so to my stock I'm going to add some salt some minced garlic about two cloves of garlic a good pinch about a teaspoon of red pepper flakes and a lot of fresh ground pepper and I'm not going to give you a recipe for this because basically you can add these uh, to your liking we just want to um, cook these down pretty good now while those are cooking I am going to just brown up some Italian sausage I, I like my collard greens to be a bit spicy so I'm using a hot Italian sausage now after about an hour or two you'll want to go ahead and taste them for seasoning and I needed to add some of my vinegar this is a pepper sauce vinegar I showed you how to make that this year and I'm I'm going to give it a good pinch of salt too. It needed a lot more salt and we are ready. So let's go ahead and plate these up. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of chow chow here on the top. I've also showed you how to make that and I'm going to put a little bit of those sausage crumbles right there on top of the collards and of course it's not complete without some cornbread. So there you go. So I hope you can give this a try. It is so wonderful and I look forward to it every year. It's so simple and delicious. So if you'd like to check out some more Southern favorites, you're welcome to head on over to my channel where you can click on the playlist there and it will take you over to my section where I have some Southern favorites for you. Thanks so much for watching and y'all have a wonderful new year and a beautiful day. Bye-bye.